नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं हूं आपका होस्ट रोहित एंड वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल रोहित स्टॉक इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन अबाउट डिफरेंशियल स्किल कैलोरी मेट्री इफ यू हैव नॉट गोन थ्रू दिस वीडियो आई सजेस्ट प्लीज गो थ्रू इट लिंक इज शेयर्ड इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स विद द लिंक्स ऑफ अदर प्रोसेस सेफ्टी रिलेटेड वीडियो टू टू इंक्रीजेस अवर मोरल प्लीज लाइक दिस वीडियो सो वी कैन ब्रिंग सच नॉल वैल्युएबल कंटेंट फॉर यू as well as please share this video so many peoples from same field can be benefited with such knowledge stuff don't forget to subscribe our channel to get a notification about our latest video you can also connect with us on facebook and our blog page so let's start today's topic powder safety part 6 determination of thermal instability using thermal screening unit that is tsu test procedure in this test 0.5 to 3 g of sample is sealed in a test cell of 8 ml volume test cell can be various material mostly made of glass titanium and steel then it is subjected to heating in an automated heating furnace constantly monitored by computerized software mostly tsu experiment are conducted between room temperature to 400 degree celsius at a rate of 2 to 3 degree celsius per minute any heat generation that is exotherm or heat absorption that is endotherm is observed as a deviation from the baseline exotherms with heat generation rate of typically at least 8 to 10 watt per kg can be detected advantage of tsu over dsc by using tsu gas evaluation data can be measured a pressure transducer is connected and its record the pressure data constantly throughout the entire experiment a typical pressure transducer of tsu can measure the pressure up to 200 bar that is a maximum in case of an glass test cell it is limited to 20 bar result and interpretation from tsu we get first onset of thermal event that is exotherm or endotherm and rate of temperature rise dt by dt second total pressure due to decomposition and rate of pressure rise that is dp by dt and third determination of ed24 by using formula one disadvantage with tsu is that calorific value of thermal event can't be obtained like in dsc from graph time versus temperature and pressure we get the information about onset temperature residual pressure at the end of cooling and generation of non condensable gases from dt by dt we get the information about rate of temperature rise per minute versus sample temperature it give us exact onset temperature it is very important in case if material which can be unstable by small changes in temperature it also tells about rate of temperature rise at a different temperature and to provide an unambiguous measure of the rate of reaction runaway from dp by dt we get the information about rate of pressure rise per degree it is very important in case of identification of suitability of reactor and installation of equipment protective devices like rupture disk and safety wall the pressure data also enable very mild exothermic decomposition reaction which result in production of non condensable gases to be detected even if the associated temperature rise is too low to be reliably detected from lnp versus temperature graph we can identify the generation of non condensable gases reading a graph from dsc and tsu is another topic if some of you insist i will make a separate video on it for implementation of this graphical result plant skill and process knowledge is very important basis of safety a small sample size 0.5 to 5 g is considered while performing a tsu experiment hence the result obtained from it may not be accurate it is because as the scale increases surface area to volume ratio decreases and accordingly the time required to cool also increases drastically typically the sensitivity of tsu is considered to be 10 watt per kg which is less to overcome this a factor safety of 50 degree celsius is widely used a correlation between safe operating temperature and onset temperature can be T safe is equal to T onset minus 50 degree Celsius. Adiabatic decomposition temperature can also be determined from TSU, as AD T24 is equal to 0.65 into T onset plus 50 degree Celsius. 
if tsu shows an onset of decomposition which is very close to operating temperature then it is better to perform some adiabatic testing like arc fitec to confirm the exact onset of decomposition before taking appropriate measures to aaj ke video mein sirf itna hi milte hain hamare agle video powder safety part 7 mein tab tak ke liye main rohit signing off bye bye